Hey y'all, Canopy here with another video, and this time we have a guide for terabyte trial. A lot of y'all have been requesting this on stream today when we played the game, so we're going to hopefully help y'all qualify. This is a great way to get two crowns if you can learn it. It is a challenging map, so don't worry, it may take a bit of time, but it is worth learning. It is really fun. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do one run where I kind of show you just how I do it and like my thought process, the best way to play it, and then we'll do another run where we try to take everything we learn and see how we can do. So let's get to it. Let's learn how to play Terabyte Trials. Let's go. All right, this is Terabyte Trial. This map relies on knowledge of coyote jumping, precision jumps and accuracy, and a lot of use of momentum, meaning a lot of sections you can't really stop. You have to just kind of keep going to make them work. Very important mechanic here. It's just jumping very late. You'll see that kind of cloud of smoke in a way or whatever. You can jump pretty much in the air. So in here you want to jump on the two inside, not the outsides with the slime, okay? So the two inside, then you jump dive here, <laughs> I hope there's no other players, but yeah, so that's what you want to do. The pathway is from here to jump inside is the easiest. You can go where they're going, but it's harder. And then here, and then nice easy jumps. Boom, onto the checkpoint. Perfect. You have to kind of jump. I'll try to explain it as I go, but these are a bit tricky. You need to have momentum here. You can't really stop. You cannot really stop anywhere. So you have to jump late, early, early, early. So you only the first jump's really coyote time, if that makes sense. The rest, you have to jump a little bit early and let the momentum of the conveyor um, carry you. Here, you want to make sure you're lined up perfectly straight. You need coyote time, you need to jump perfectly straight. And if you do it good, you shouldn't need to dive. You can dive to be safe if you're a little panicking, but sometimes dives can also mess you up. Same thing here, perfect coyote time. If you struggle, you can try to double bounce again to uh, secure the jump. So here is another part where momentum is very important. You have to kind of go, go, go. The first two jumps aren't too bad. On the third jump, you need some air control and coyote time. So you need to really control yourself in the air. Let's see if we can do it fluently. Right over like that. So you got a really hard pull on the joystick to get over to get enough momentum to make that. So now we're at the end section. So here, coyote time. You can take your time a little bit. Uh, it, you can. If you need to hesitate, you can a little bit, but be careful. There, yeah. It's better to do it all in one, but you can kind of hesitate a little bit, but I wouldn't recommend it. So you can look back. There's probably no one in sight. If you do get someone that finishes the map quickly, it'll happen. It does happen, even for me. Um, some people will just kind of blow past me, and it happens. It's okay. Just try it again. No worries. Remember, patience is a big thing here. And this hammer is the worst, so it is okay to be upset at this hammer. Trust me on that. Alright, and dive here. This is mostly cosmetic. This hammer has never really bugged me. Oh, okay, let's go. See, the Qualls line is very forgiving there too, so... Yeah, hopefully that kind of helps you understand Tear by Trial, how to play it. Be patient, it is challenging. Even really good players that have been playing for a long time have taken some time to learn this. So we have like, what, six days left of this map? Five days or something like that, so... Take time, practice it, you can definitely do it. I believe in you, let's go. All right, we are back in a tear by trial. Let's put our knowledge to the test and see if we can make a little bit of a cleaner run. So remember we jump here. Oop, careful of other uh, players. We avoid the outsides, remember to avoid the outsides. And hopefully, don't make the same mistake. You gotta make sure you are on the edges. Really careful, and boom, boom. Okay, not too bad. Momentum, very important here. We got a late jump, an early jump, early, early. Okay, perfect. We line up here, straight on, dive if we need to, straight on, late jumps here, very late jumps, let's go. Okay, try to make this in one go. I remember air control here, very important. Let's go, going on to the next section, all right. Boom, okay, we're on the final section, looking pretty good. Only a couple little mistakes so far. Oh. <laughs> this end part is the ruiner of all good PBs, right? You gotta really try to stick to the edges here. Yeah, there we go. There we go. And boom! Let's go. Give me that double crown. Nice. Let's give me that crown. 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 Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me that crown. Give me that crown. Give me that crown.